I'm Josh Bishop for OnlineComponents.com, and before me, I have an entire self-contained wireless communications package from Omeron. With a minimum of three components and no external interfaces required, Omeron has made wireless communication in an industrial setting incredibly easy. First, we have the S8VK 24 volt DC power supply. And this DIN rail mounted power supply is very slim, as you can see, and has vents at the bottom and top for silent convection cooling. It takes a wide voltage input from 100 to 240 volts AC and accepts either 50 or 60 hertz. You can connect the incoming power here at the bottom with line, neutral, and ground inputs. This particular power supply outputs the 24 volt DC power at the top with these terminal blocks and can provide up to 15 watts, which is ample power for this wireless receiver or many other devices. There are other S8VK power supplies that can output more power, but this works great in this case. The S8VK is providing power to this wireless receiver, the A2W-RCP-WC1. This receiver is very straightforward to use with clearly marked ports and switches and common sense usage. This has eight outputs and accordingly can be synced with eight wireless buttons. You can see the power input up at the top and the outputs here at the bottom. There are lights for power, any potential errors, and receipt of signals right here. There's also a slide switch for usage, testing, and setup. You'll note that this is 922.5 MHz, which gives it a greater range and better signal propagation than higher frequency signals. We end up with a communication distance of about 100 meters without any obstructions. Finally, we have the two push button switches. They're obviously both wireless and they generate their own power, so no battery is required. This also eliminates the need for maintenance. A light comes on when you click the button, showing that it has been actuated and is working. They come with the space to allow you to easily mount them and swap them around as you need. The buttons are functionally the same, but you have the option of different types of plungers depending on what works best in your situation. They are both UL certified, rated up to 1 million operations, and are IP65 sealed. They're also shock and vibration resistant, making them ideal for tough industrial applications. Although this is connected and powered up, it is not set up and I'll walk you through the process just to show you how easy it is. For you, you'll need to connect the S8VK to power. Again, it can use power from practically anywhere in the world. Then, hook the output of the power supply to the input of the wireless receiver, and now everything will turn on and you'll be up to the point where I am currently. Programming the buttons in the receiver doesn't require anything external like a computer. You simply set the rotary switch to the channel you want to use, Move the slide switch to ID, and then click the button you want to use three times, relatively quickly. You'll see the receive light come on, indicating that the receiver got the message and it has been paired. Switch to another channel, do the same thing with the other button. That's it. It's recommended to make certain other systems in the area are not in use during this procedure, however, as it may cause problems. Let's move the slider switch to run and start clicking these buttons and watch the different indicators light up. Now, deleting the buttons and reassigning them is just as easy. Put the rotary switch to delete and click the button three times until the light comes on. The button is now unassigned and can be programmed to another output slot. With just a few components and a couple minutes of setup, you can easily integrate Omron's wireless buttons into your systems. If you want to learn more or purchase these Omron components, go to onlinecomponents.com.